All right. Let's hit that live button and let's start things and stuff. Hello. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. We are in the final case of the game, and we are continuing our investigation. My name is George. If I am the person you're looking for, congratulations. It's time to start. If I'm not, well, <clears throat> try to stick around. Maybe, maybe you'll find yourself enjoying this. Uh, we're in the middle of a case, and things have gotten pretty intense. A woman has been murdered. Her name is Elise Donum, but we learn that that is a pseudo-name. She is actually Misty Fay. Mystic Misty, also known as the master of the Korean channeling technique, also, also known as Maya Fay's mother. She's been murdered. We found some incriminating evidence that looks like it might incriminate Maya. But speaking of, Maya is also missing herself. She is trapped inside of the sacred cavern in the inner temple, um, just to the island to the east of Hazakira Temple. Uh, or the cliff to the east of Hazakura Temple across Suspension Bridge. And uh, our girl Iris, who was accused of the murder originally, she escaped from Edgeworth during an earthquake where she was being brought to the Sacred Cavern to try and undo a trick lock that was on the Sacred Cavern. But then she actually added four additional trick locks onto the cavern, or at least that's the way it appears to be right now. It took me by surprise. I was very much shocked. And so I don't really understand what is about to happen today. <laughs> We, we got a lot of questions to ask this girl. I hope Maya's gonna be okay. Anyways, I think some hellos are in order, and then we will get uh, started. Changeling DJ Tororo. 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 Toro. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. I don't know that I've seen you in the chat before. Pyro Demon Eye, Stephen Ray's in between heaven and hell. Saying, hi, George. Can't stay tonight. I got some to work. Just my luck. Can't wait to catch up in a few hours. Not a problem. Of course, this video will be available on the archive lands when you have the time. So, don't hesitate. <laughs> um, let's start then. Tom Leah, hello. Welcome to the chat. All right, we're going to load. We're going to start up. Things are going to be fine, okay? We can only go up from here, I suppose. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, this... <laughs> This really threw me through a loop when this happened yesterday. Jacob Welsh, hello, welcome to the chats. Thank you for letting me know my audio is A-OK. -okay. <clears throat> right, what is Godot, uh, is this what Godot was talking about? Yeah, the trick locks. Now then, Iris, please remove them at once. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, I'm afraid I can't. Are, are, is she not the one who put them on? Whoa, what's going on here? Where did they come from? It's not possible for me. What? During the earthquake, when the cavern was in danger of caving in, Iris escaped. And I know that there was only one lock when I last came in here. So, you're saying that you can't undo the new locks? Yes. Only I was stronger. Edgeworth, how are you feeling? You look a little pale in the face. You and Meek, we can relate to that, buddy. I'm as pale as they come. Like you're one to talk with your face all green. Yeah, I can't relate to that. Miles Edgeworth, go get some air. I'll watch over the suspect. You go get a grip on yourself. Don't be ridiculous, I'm perfectly hung. There's no telling what sort of mistakes you could make in your current state. Go and get some rest. That's her only concern now. Miles Edgeworth, aww, she's being kind of a bitch, but it's like she cares about him, though. It's kind of sweet. Understood. <clears throat> I'll handle the investigation in the garden. You take care of things here. Oh, don't you worry, I will, big boy. Edgeworth. He's got so much pride that he's probably off crying in the corner of like a garden. In the corner of a garden. In, in the corner of the garden. <laughs> pride is simply another trap that hinders us in our lives. Yeah, really? Because you know what? You seem to have a lot of that actually, Franny. Miss, I describe myself as a prodigy to every single person that I meet. <laughs> that said, one must have pride to be effective on the job. Ah, there it is. <laughs> At any rate, it seems that this is where we part ways, Phoenix Wright. I'm going to stay here and see if I can't help solve these bothersome puzzles. Oh, I see. The child prodigy. She's going to do some uh, lock puzzles. Mike C, hello. Welcome to the chat. You barely missed a thing. We are starting almost exactly where we left off. 
All of us are mad confused because there's a bunch of trick locks on the door to Maya in the sacred cavern. And Iris is claiming that she can't undo them, which means maybe she's not the one who put them on, but I'd like to interrogate her a little bit. Yeah, can I talk to her? Now then, Iris, do you mind if I ask you a few things? No, not at all. All right, girl, you're looking highly suspect right now. Why did you run away from Edgeworth? I'm sorry. I heard the inner temple had been severely shaken by the strong earthquake we had. I was so worried, I just had to come and see what was up. In other words, you didn't run away to escape the law. At least we're clear on that. I can't tell you how relieved I was when I saw the sacred cavern was alright, but... But what? Well, then I saw these chains here. I saw all these extra locks that someone had put on the sacred cavern's door and... Hmm... Who in the world would do something like this? That's the million dollar question. Who would? We, we've got almost all of our people accounted for, except Dahlia, who might still be running around here. I, I'm pretty convinced at this point that Iris and Dahlia are probably two separate people? I don't know. <laughs> it, it's like, you've been trained to not trust anything in this game anymore, because you never know what they're going to throw at you in terms of curveballs, but like... It seems like we've got a mystery figure, unless Iris is this mastermind culprit, and she really is Dahlia in disguise. I feel like we have to have like a, like Dahlia escaped from prison and she's like secretly running around this place and we just haven't bumped into her at all. I don't know. Can you talk to me about these trick locks? What exactly are they? These trick locks are a sacred treasure of the Korean tradition. There are hundreds of ways to set them. And that's why only the person who set the lock can open it. And you aren't the one who set these locks. I don't think it's that simple, Francisca von Karma. When we were here the first time, there was only one lock. But now, somehow there's five of them. What does that mean? It means that someone wanted to secure the place even more. And they wanted to secure it before you got here, Iris. Presumably because they wanted to make sure Maya couldn't get out. This means that Iris can only open one of these locks. The first one. Yes, that's correct. What? Iris, try to think, please. Isn't there some way around this? Well, like I said, there, there are hundreds of different ways to set these locks. I suppose if I went through e every combination with each one, I could remove them, but it will take time, won't it? Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, it would probably take about a day if I had to guess. A whole day? Well, that's better than leaving the locks in place. Will you do this for us? Of course. I'll do whatever I can. We've got to wait another day. Ah, oh, hang in there, Maya. You're gonna have to call on your inner strength now. Alright, well hopefully all that standing under freezing waterfalls has prepared her to spend a weekend in a freezing cavern. She'll be fine, alright? It's Maya. God, we'll get her a burger after this and it'll all be okay. The night of the crime. You know what, Iris? There's still one thing I don't quite get. And what might that be, Phoenix Wright? I should think it's obvious. Iris, on the night of the murder, where were you? Please, don't give me that look. Well, she claimed she was in her room. You told us that you were in your room at Hazakura Temple at the time of the incident. But you were seen that same evening at the inner temple. And then, you were also spotted at the scene of the crime in Hazakura Temple. Being spotted at both Hazakura Temple and the inner temple, it's as if you were in two places at once, which, what is one explanation for that? If her doppelganger Dahlia was also on this mountain unbeknownst to us. Well, Iris, I think it's about time you told us the truth. All right, three Cyclops. I think this might be the time where we bring out the Dahlia. I, th I think we're gonna figure it out today. I knew it. 
There's something going on here that we don't know about. Alright. You sit tight, girl. I'm gonna go collect some evidence and I'm gonna be back to grill you. <laughs> Throw you in the hot seat, as it were. Alright, Inner Temple Gate. I'm finally getting to the bottom of this case. I can count on Iris to break those locks, so I should try to gather more clues. From Sister Bikini, Edgeworth, Gumshoe, and Pearls. It's a nice little laundry list of people we gotta talk to. Let's see who we can find. It's weird that there's no one around all of a sudden. It sure gets quiet up here in the mountains when you're all on your own. Speaking of alone, I guess I should go check out the shack just down this path. Maybe I'll find Larry there sulking again. Great, we're gonna add him onto our bucket list. God. Also, how comfortable can we really be walking by this, like, makeshift board that uh, Gumshoe threw together? That doesn't look very safe. <laughs> but who am I to judge? Let's go to the temple. Or not the temple, the shack. Oh, Mr. Nick! Pearls! What are you doing here? Uh, nothing! What about Mystic Maya? Is she alright? Um, well... We don't know yet. Oh, I see. Hey! What do you think you're doing here, Nick? Larry! This is the loser's shack! It's where losers get together to lose themselves! I'm sorry, wait, what? It's the what? Hey! We find comfort in each other's failures, okay? You got a problem with that? Look, Mr. Nick, well, Mr. Larice did a picture of me. Um, that's great, Pearls? <gasps> We're gonna gather firewood now. We'll be cooking some half-rotten potatoes over a miserably little campfire. <laughs> so stay out of our way, Nick. Oh my god, I don't believe this. <laughs> Why can't he try getting fired up over becoming a better man? <laughs> no one believes a word I say anymore, dude. <laughs> Listen to me, Pearl. You don't want to trust this kind of guy, okay? He's only going to let you down. Oh, Mystic Maya. Alright. So about Larissa's sketch. Larry, is there something you want to tell me about this picture? Ha! <laughs> I've got nothing to say to you, Nick. My life's here now, with Pearl. Two losers cooking potatoes together for forevermore. Alright, let's try to make sure we get Pearls away from Larry as soon as possible. Alright, so then... Uh, what do you think about this picture, Pearls? Um, I think it's really well drawn. I can't draw at all, so I think it's really amazing. See? Someone appreciates it. It's tough getting the flames to look like that, you know? It's supposed to be Sister Iris flying through the air, isn't it? I love it. It's like a dream. A wonderful fantasy. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't a dream. She really flew, dude! I'm telling you, Iris really flew that night! But, Mr. Larice, that's not how people work. <laughs> huh? Uh, Dave Abler! Nothing to do with the game, but MIT team just observed quantum travel. Oh, cool, what a little fun little uh, science fact. Guys, science, it's happening around us all the time. <laughs> Never get uh, bored of it. Uh, let me look it up after the stream. <laughs> oh, not you too. Oh, uh, please, don't look at me like that, girl. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of nutcase, okay? <laughs> I beg of you. All right, I guess this picture really is a representation of what Larry thinks that he saw. Oh, yeah, so I was half asleep when I was here that night. Uh, Cosmetology Corner, hello, welcome. No need to sweat about being a little bit late. My day was quite swell, all right? I got uh, some blood work done for my prep <laughs> as a gay man. So now I'm wearing my blood red shirt. <laughs> and then I went to the gym, and then I had dinner, and now I'm here. <laughs> but I was wide awake after the lightning struck. And what I saw, it was exactly like what I drew in the picture. And it looks like I don't have any choice but to take this sketch at face value. Uh, hello, Frank. Welcome to the chat. Hey! Well, what's with the look of doubt on your face, pal? I don't know, Larry. Let's get this over with. Talking to you is a real pain in my ass. Um, Pearls. Uh, yes, Mr. Nick? I've been meaning to ask you about the night of the murder. <gasps> oh, I was hoping you forgot about that. <laughs> Where were you 
And what exactly were you doing when it all happened? I, um... Well, you see, I... And therefore, when you, and yeah, and when you, and when, and when you, and I, and he, and I, and when you, 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 you know, I, I was just, you know, I, I'm just a kid, you know? I'm sure it doesn't really matter what I was doing, so you, d -d -d does it, Mr. Nick? Sorry, Pearls, but yes, it does. You might be a suspect. On the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Miss Donum's room reading a book together. But, Miss Donum was murdered, and you, Pearls, were at the Inner Temple. So what in the world happens that night, Pearls? I am really sorry, Mr. Nick. Oh no, Pearls, please don't lie to me. Oh my god, Pearls, why do you have so many? I've been a bad girl. Oh god, what did you do? Pearls. What did you do? That's why I'm being punished. What are you talking about, Pearls? My spiritual power. Um, it's disappeared. What? Her powers are gone? What, what do you mean? Wait, what do you mean your powers disappeared? It's... Oh, it's all over for me. Huh? A spirit medium who can't channel spirits, that's like, you know, a painter who can't paint. Alright, well let's be a little bit more sensitive. You know Maya's not very good at channeling spirits. <laughs> hey! What are you looking at me for? <laughs> oh my god, Larry. <laughs> I'm a poor dude. No, you can paint beautifully, Larry. Alright, Pearls. Um, help, help me out here. Did you try to channel somebody's spirit? Here at Hazakura Temple? Tried but failed, perhaps? Ah! Ah, I don't wanna talk about it! Oh, way to go, Nick! You made her cry, dude! That's that's real cruel of you! Why you gotta do that, buddy? Just as I thought. I'm gonna have to break her Cyclox to get the truth out of her. Who would she have tried to spirit channel? Maybe, would she have tried to have spirit channeled Mystic Elise after she died? But the timeline seems a little bit weird there. D did she try to channel somebody before the murder happened? Uh, I don't know. I guess we're not going to get any help from Mia since our spirit channel channeler is out of commission. <laughs> Alright, we'll come back to Pearls 2. Wow, everybody's got Cyclops for me today. It's turning into a real nightmare real quick. I wonder if Sister Bikini is back at the main hall yet. I haven't seen Gumshoe around for a while either. Maybe they're having a cup of tea together somewhere. I bet Gumshoe is Sister Bikini's type. I think all men are Sister Bikini's type. <laughs> uh, Thunder Phoenix 256 hello, welcome to the chat. Her powers are gone? Happy music resumes playing. <laughs> Gotta love that. And Dave Abler, her mother. Uh... Um, so, yeah, we, we found out that, uh, what's her name? Mystic, uh, Elise Donum, a.k.a. Misty Faye, is Maya's mom, but she is not Pearl's mom, because Pearl's is Maya's cousin. Pearl's' mother is very much alive, but she is in jail for, you know, trying to frame Maya for a murder so that her daughter Pearl's could become the head of the Korean School of Channeling after Maya was taken out of commission, because Mia's already out of commission. There she is, beautiful as ever, but sadly, deceased. And Godot thinks it's all our fault. Because he's an asshole. Alright, let's see what we can find. Oh, God, what are you freaking out about? <laughs> can I catch a break? Well, what's the damage? How's the sacred cavern? Oh, right, 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 I forgot. <laughs> That's where we left off, right? Uh, it looks like it survived. But we kind of have a bigger problem now. I told Sister Bikini all about it. About the five locks that were stopping us from getting inside the sacred cavern. But who? Who could have done that? The only people who know how to set those trick locks are those of the Korean tradition. Well, we have Iris at the sacred cavern trying her best to open them for us right now. Actually, 
There's something I've been meaning to talk with to you about, Sister Bikini. Oh, yes. We were in the middle of a chat, weren't we? <clears throat> yes. You were telling me how the Master of Corrine disappeared 17 years ago. I want to know why Misty Face suddenly appeared at this temple. Well, it was about a week ago when Mystic Elise... No. I mean Mystic Misty arrived. After she showed me the talisman that proved she was the master, she said... Someone is trying to destroy the Korean tradition's main family line. Well, wouldn't be the first time, again, to repeat our recap, Pearls' mom <laughs> has tried to have Maya taken out of commission, and she went into jail. So who's it gonna be this time? Also, how does that relate to Dahlia? She's not connected to the phase. I don't think- well... Unless it's purely about, like, getting revenge on Mia, because Mia locked her up. She's like, I will end your whole fa- that, that sounds like a Dahlia thing, actually. I am here to put a stop to them, she said. Well, you didn't- Misty Faye, bless your heart, love you to death, but you didn't really do the best job because you're dead as a doornail now. Someone was trying to destroy the main family line? There is only one heir to the title of master at any time, and it's usually the eldest. That child becomes the new master of Kurain, and her daughter is the main family. All other mediums become branch family members, with no hope of controlling the clan. That's why nothing has changed throughout the history of the clan. Branch families have always and always will plot to erase those of the main family line. Yeah, we've seen that firsthand. Is the power of the master worth this much bloodshed? Maybe. Hmm. You believe in the technique, don't you, Mr. Wright? You know its power is real. Yes, I do. I've seen things that I simply can't deny. It's been two years since I first met Maya. In that time, I've seen her channel the spirits of the dead plenty of times. It's like business as usual for us. Her, she grows up to a double D. She uh, seduces men for me when I need it. During the mass to mass case and during Maggie Bird's trial too. Thanks to Maya, Mia's always on hand to help me out when I need her the most. Yeah, just undo one more button for me, girl. The Korean technique has made a huge difference to the world, you know. I mean, the ability to commune with the dead, that's true psychic power, you know? Members of the tradition have always been there, behind every important feature. Who wouldn't respect such a tremendous skill? Yeah, I could see it would really come in handy. I suppose so, but with all that power and influence, I kind of expected you'd be really rich by now. Are you saying we're poor, Mr. Wright? Ha ha ho ho! You're very direct, aren't you? People don't believe in it anymore, you see? All because of one little mistake- Alright, but listen, girl, your marketing is what's wrong. I understand that Misty Faye had the slip-up in the DL6 incident. But literally, all you need to do is put Maya or Pearls onto the news, have them channel Mia for a hot second, and watch my teenage women friends j j turn into this adult, giant-breasted woman before their eyes. It's gonna be pretty hard for people to refute that, alright? <laughs> Like, this is where things don't consi- So in the real world of logic, people always- I, I have some spiritual friends, bless their hearts. They're, they're characters, and so I love them. But they always, like, will get on my dick about, like, the spiritual world, and be like, you just gotta believe. And I'm like, look, in the world of fiction where spirits and stuff, r real stuff happens all the time, I'm like, dude, if any of this stuff actually happened, and we had actual irrefutable evidence, of course! All right, you go with what things go, but look, I'm not a very faithful person. <laughs> All right, I, I've grown up in a world where I base my logic on reason and uh, observation. <laughs> That's just the way we got to live our lives sometimes. A mistake? What kind of a mistake? It was 17 years ago. That's when everything came crashing down. <clears throat> All because of that incident. Hmm. <clears throat> she's talking about what I think she's talking about. 
I'm sure the records still exist if you're interested. Locked up, of course. It was called the DL6 Incident. That's the name of the file. The DL6 Incident. God, it's been a hot minute since we've used that name. But that's the one. All right. To anybody who is new here and hasn't been uh, keeping up on my old streams or hasn't gone back to the original Ace Attorney, here's a little refresher for you guys on DL6. The DL6 Incident. I know it well. I handled a related case just two years ago. Ah, that's right. So it was you who was the defense attorney on that case. A murder that took place 17 years ago. Whoa. It was the first time in the country's history the police ever used a spirit medium. The idea was to channel the victim's spirit to learn the identity of the murderer. And the medium who performed this channeling was Misty Faye, Maya's mom. Through Mystic Misty's channeling, the name of a certain man surfaced. Maxwell Fong, hello, welcome to the chat. Armed with that as evidence, the investigators were spurred into action. But that man, he ended up being found not guilty, wasn't he? That's right, he was. And the case remained a mystery. And he lost his whole family and had to pretend to be a crazy old boat caretaker. Ah! What's that, Polly? Oh, the kids are making the noodles again! I'm so glad we were here at the noodle shop, Polly! Why do kids keep trying to rent boats from the noodle shop, Polly? <laughs> he was- he was a delight. I miss him. In other words, we failed. It was the first case the world had ever seen in the Korean tradition openly involved in. It was all over the media. The public, the judiciary, the people of the Korean village. Everyone judged her. Everyone said Mystic Misty's powers were a sham. And then she just disappeared. Vanished while everyone still thought of her as a fraud. But I know the truth. Misty Faye's spirit channeling wasn't a sham at all. Of course it wasn't. And since you managed to reveal the truth, we're finally making a comeback. The Korean tradition is starting to recover at last. But with a new master wielding the power of the clan. Does she mean Maya? Oh, jeez. The spiritual power of Korean channeling technique is in the blood. Maya's told me the exact same thing before. We, the women of the Fey Clan, have always been spirit mediums, Nick. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. According to Maya, only the women in the family can inherit that power. The main family's bloodline stems directly from Mystic Army. But with each new generation, only one daughter becomes the new master. And the ones who don't become branch families, right. That's right. And it's always the cause of tragedy. You know, Maya had a sister, too. An older sister named Mia. Yeah, but how interested was Mia in being the master? Because Mia went to law school and became a lawyer. Oh, yes, I've heard of her. What? You know about Mia? Of course. She became a lawyer in the hopes of discovering what happened to her mother. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> look at me not put... Look at me dot dot me trying to connect dot. Uh, whoop! Just missed it by a hair. Right. Mia's mom was considered a fraud. And so, of course, she got involved in the legal system to clear her mom's name. And then she lost her life as a result. Do you know what Mystic Mia is rumored to have said? She said it wasn't only because of her mother that she became a lawyer. She also didn't want to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. Oh, really? Well, she saw what happened to her own mother, Mystic Misty, as she grew up. I guess Mystic Mia got tired of seeing all the rivalry between her mom and her aunt. Huh. That's right. Misty Faye had an older sister, too. Oh, shit, that's right. I forgot that detail. Um, so I knew that Pearls' mom is Misty Faye's sister, but I forgot that, uh, th this was said in the second game, that, uh, the other Faye of these two women... She was actually the older one, and usually the older one is supposed to become the master, 
but the older woman, what was it, Morgan Fay? Yeah, Morgan Fay. Uh, she was a fucking little weak ass bitch, and she didn't have the spirit channeling strength that uh, Misty had. So Misty came and stole it out from under her and became the master. And that's why she was so pissed. <laughs> And Misty, having superior powers, managed to usurp the master's secret from her. Mystic Misty's sister is Morgan, as Mystic Morgan, as you probably know. Morgan. There's a name I know well. It was a year ago now at Maya's home in Corain Village. What she did was terrible. It was all so she could make her own daughter the next master. Wow, look at her silhouette. <laughs> that hair is wild. I suppose if you know Mystic Morgan's daughter, then you must have already realized that Iris... Wait, whoa, 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 hold up, what? Iris? What does she have to do with any of this? Well, Iris is Mystic Morgan's daughter. What? What? No! Excuse me, ma'am, ma'am, mother, lady, person of interest, Pearls is Mystic Morgan's daughter. Did she have more than one daughter? Does that mean Dahlia was all- are, are Dahlia and Iris twins? Are they the same person? Are they twins? Hold- Man, look, I was getting real close to having some answers for me, and you're throwing a really big wrench in all of my brain processing right now. What? Iris says what? Is she kidding me? She's Morgan Fay's daughter? Did you just say that Iris is Morgan Fay's daughter? Oops, I thought you already knew. It sounded like you met one of Mystic Morgan's daughters already. I have! Her name's Pearls! Oh? Yeah! This sweet little girl! But I always thought she was an only child! Oh, you jest! That child! She's Mystic Morgan's! I had no idea! Well, looks like you and I, we were two pieces of the same puzzle, but we just didn't make our connection. Mystic Morgan! But she's in prison now, isn't she? Yeah, ever since she was found to be a co-conspirator in a murder case last year. Oh my god. It was all done to set Pearls up as the next master. So then why was Iris not in the picture with that family? I see. So I've been wrong all this time. Mystic Morgan had three daughters, not two. There it is. Okay. So, yeah. Now I can... Not, watch, guys. Dot connecting to dot. This one I've got. So three daughters. One... Whoops, whoop, whoop, three daughters. One of them is Pearls. One of them is Iris. And... A suspicion that we have is that perhaps Iris and Dahlia are like twins. So daughter number three must be Dahlia. Oh my Christ. So then what happened to Dahlia and Iris? Why were they not with Morgan? Why were they not with Pearls? Did they, do they know that they're related to Mia? Did Dahlia know that she was related to Mia in their first trials? Does that mean that Dahlia can channel spirits? <laughs> There's so many questions I have. Wait, what? Three? Yes, Iris, her twin sister, and Mystic Pearl. All right, Phoenix, is the light bulb going off for you too? Because it went off for me. What? Twin sister? Oh, didn't you know? It all happened 20 years ago. After the clan leadership was taken from her by her sister, Mystic Morgan's life crumbled. It wasn't many years later that Corrine's reputation hit an all-time low. When Mystic Morgan's husband realized his wife would never become the master, he left her in the village, taking their twin daughters with him. Oh, We knew that the husband dipped the fuck out, but I would just assumed he would have been like most deadbeat dads and dipped out completely by himself. You know, bye honey, I'm off to go get milk, see ya never. <laughs> Dumb broad can't be the master of Corrine, what am I doing in this rundown village? But I didn't know he would also take two of the children with him. And if he took two of the children, why wouldn't he have taken the third child? 
Poor pearls! How awful! He was a jeweler, you know. In the end, he remarried, and that's when it happened. So he became the jeweler, so that checks out for Dahlia's background. She was raised by a family with the dad and some new woman, as, and they were jewelers, and she came up with this heist to steal the jewel. Got it. Okay, I'm learning. I'm piecing things together. Wow, what a successful investigation. I'm learning so much. But that still leaves me with the question of what in the world happened with Iris? Why did Iris end up here? He decided to give one of his girls up to be looked after us here by the temple. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Ask and you shall get an answer. That was Iris, you see. So, did he just, just just what? If he was gonna steal two of the girls only to give one of them away to someone else, why not just leave the other girl with his wife? Since he left the third with his wife. Well, what was this man's motives? Is this how all straight men think? I'm so confused. It's unbelievable! If Iris has a twin sister, could it be? Uh, could you tell me one more thing, Sister Bikini? What was the name of Iris' sister? I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I just can't remember. All I can recall is that her father was a jeweler. Well, that's a clue, I guess. Huh, a jeweler. Alright, thank you very much. You've helped clear up a lot of details. Actually, remarkably, I never assumed you would have been this helpful. Pearls had two older sisters, huh? Yes, that's right. No doubt it was all because of Mystic Morgan's anger toward the maid family. Anger? What do you mean? Her twin daughters were taken from her by her jeweler husband. But even that couldn't destroy her dream that a child of hers would one day leave the clan. And that's why she had pearls. Oh! Different dad. Okay. So dad took two dad took both of the kids. Morgan ended up having pearls with another man. God. She pulled one of those funny little tricks where you seduce a man and you're like Never mind, I can't say that on the live stream. Inside me, daddy, don't pull out. <laughs> In the heat of the moment, and then she got a whole nother child, and then man number two probably left her too, because, you know, she's a psychopathic bitch. But she doesn't even care, because she just wanted another daughter. Oh my god, Pearls was- Pearls was literally made as a product to hand down the linea- the line of the- the bloodline. Uh, the- uh... Wow. Wow. <laughs> Whew getting hot in here. <laughs> it seems that the incident here was a result of Mystic Morgan's anger. It was able to break free from the bars that confined her. So Iris has a twin sister. The plot thickens. But this information will be useless unless I can flesh it out a bit. I need to ask more questions. And get some more info. Yes, yes I do. Um... All right, let's see who else we can bump into. Let's see if uh, Dick or Edgeworth are back here. Hello? Sounds like someone's happy. What tune is that they're humming? Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god, why is, it, why is this his tune? No motive, no crime, no motive, no crime. Sing it with me, pal, no motive, no crime. <laughs> Thought there would be better lyrics that better signed up with the music. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, Bill! I remember when we went to search in the channeling room in Karain. I love my job, Bell. Who cares if the clues I find are no good? That's not what investigating's all about. The investigator investigates for the love of investigating, Bell. It's a passion. Good cases we have, good cases we've lost along the way. Um, never would have guessed that Gumshoe was into reggae. Oh my god, how long is this gonna go on for? <laughs> um, every case is gonna bring air tight, every case is gonna be air tight. Okay, good. Let, let's wrap this bit up, dick, baby, my love. Oh, hey, pal. Huh? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, oh, how long have you been there? 
Uh, Thunder Phoenix 256, I guess this brings into question how much Morgan really cared for Pearl. Did she really frame Maya for Pearl's sake, or was she just trying to use Pearl for her own revenge? I mean, it kind of seems that way. I, Morgan really gives me strong dance mom vibes. You know, somebody who has a child to place all of the aspirations they had for themselves that they can no longer fulfill, because you know what, they're, let, let's, let's be blunt about it, they're old. <laughs> so they, they try to pass off their own aspirations to their offspring. I don't know. Ooh, it's wild. Um, I just got here. Oh, okay. So, uh, so what are you up to, detective? Well, I'm investigating, pal. I made a promise to Mr. Edgeworth. I promised I would find the real murder weapon. The real murder weapon? Yeah, that barbed sword thing turned out to be a real false lead, right? And so I'm giving it my best shot here, but I haven't turned up any clues. I just found these weird scraps of paper. Looks like a letter or something. Doesn't seem to have anything to do with the case, though. A letter? Alright, let's, let's talk about that. So how's the investigation going, detective? Uh, I don't know if I should be telling you, pal. Well, I guess it can't hurt. Looks like the murderer took, uh, or the murder took place in the Inner Temple Garden. And they're talking, uh, they're talk, they're taking that bloody writing on the lantern pretty seriously back at HQ. What? What do you mean? I don't have the details, pal. All I know is, uh, if you don't find Maya down in that sacred cavern, we're gonna be faced with one ugly situation. What kind of ugly situation are we looking at here? Oh, you got me, pal. I don't know. They're not my words, pal. Well, then who said it? Mr. Godot. Godot. What did he mean by that? I think it means that he, he believes Maya's the murderer. <laughs> About that letter you found. Oh, don't remind me, pal. I'm busting my gut here trying to find the murder weapon. And all I find is some burnt up old letter, pal. Be careful. Once night should be there as soon as you something. As soon oh, as soon as soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit. Leave everything up to her. <gasps> that sounds like a note that might have uh elicited pearls to channel somebody. Whoa, what is going on? Yeah, it was in the incinerator right outside the inner temple, pal. The incinerator? Well, it must not be a very good incinerator if it would only burn half a paper. I knew it. I knew I wasn't imagining it, but also, that's really lucky for us. That's video game logic for you. Where things have to work out just okay enough so that we can solve the case. There was snow on the incinerator when I first saw it. But after the incident, the snow had melted away. Which means someone used the incinerator on the night of the murder. Oh, what's up with you, pal? Yeah, I've got it right here if you want to take a look. Can I? Do you mind? Yeah, sure, go nuts. I don't want it, pal. You can have it. It's all spirit mediums and masters and stuff. I bet it's got no relation to the case. Spirit mediums? Good. Can I, do you think I can get a better read of it now? Inside of my dialogue? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, wow, there's multiple pages. All right, so to read it out again, be careful. Once night falls, something, something should be there. As soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit to leave everything up to her. Her name is something. She is our all, she's our almighty God, the whole something. Here's a picture of her. Use it when you channel her. I know you can do it. Once this is something, burn the something. Also make something. Tell anyone about this letter. Probably don't. <laughs> Gravely roast the masters, the master in the fires of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition. What? <laughs> okay. Her name is blank. So who... I wonder- there's so many things I wonder. First of all, I wonder if this was a letter that was actually intended for Pearls, or if Pearls found it by mistake. Because apparently everyone here can channel spirits now. 
And who's the spirit they're trying to channel? Her name is something. She's our something. What? What? I mean, first first guess, with no context, context, if we're like, well, Misty's dead, so why, you would probably want to channel her. She's the master. But, like, why? Because Misty was alive at, at this moment in time. Maybe Mia, but... But, I don't know, we kind of channel her all the time anyways. Huh. I better give this letter a good looking over, and some serious thought. All right, pal, you do that. Just make sure you chuck it in the trash when you're done. Littering's a crime. Yeah, yeah, don't you worry. So, what do you know about the real murder weapon so far? Well, it wasn't the Shichi Shito that was found impaled in the victim's body. Very gruesomely, might I add. Mr. Edgeworth proved that in court today. Yeah, that's true. So, in which case, it's gotta be some other blade. And that's what you're running around like a headless chicken looking for, right? Yeah, man, is it tiring work. But let me tell you something, pal. I'm no chicken. Imagine if the spirit was Wendy Oldbag. <gasps> Frank, let us not insinuate that Wendy Oldbag has died. I am sure she is doing amazing right now. Oh, we got the feather of forensics in our cap these days. We're using the department's secret weapon on this. Um, changing DJ, I would tell you, but my friends keep complaining about, uh, spoilers. Yes, good. Uh, no spoilers. I will f I will figure out all of the details. So when I ask these questions, sometimes I'm asking them redundantly. <laughs> um, secret weapon? Whoa, 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 what's this about a secret weapon? Ah, oh, you want to know about the secret weapon? You gotta think scientifically, okay, pal? Yeah, all right. Listen, I, I worked with a scientist once. I mean, she was a teenager who was enrolled in science class, but same difference. See, the murder weapon was a sword. Swords are, scientifically speaking, made of metal, right? Any questions so far? Nope. I know what he's gonna say, but why don't we let this guy look smart? So it's the perfect tool for the job. It's a, duh, it's a metal detector, pal. Raise your hand if you didn't see this coming from a mile away. Um, rhetorically, rhetorical questions. Did I did I misspeak? <laughs> what did what did I call them? I thought I called them rhetorical questions. <laughs> well, here you want to give scientific investigation a go? But, but me? <laughs> Oh my god, this game. Alright, boys. We're, we're given a metal detector that we're gonna go and look around for a piece of metal. We are now officially Scientist Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, I've been using this thing for hours, pal. Gets pretty boring after a while. Why don't you give it a try? It's- uh, Dick, this isn't my- Listen, handsome. This isn't my first time. Haven't we used one of these before? Didn't we use one at Gord Lake? And that's how we found, like, the giant canister that Larry had set off that contained all that air? Oh, I said redundantly. <laughs> Listen, this is an issue with live streaming, okay? Sometimes you have slips of the tongue. <laughs> and you just say something's wrong. Um, it's like my favorite animal. The chameleon. <laughs> uh, should I help Detective Gumshoe out or not? Yeah, let's play forensic expert. Oh, come on, pal. It's good fun, I'm telling you. Alrighty then, I guess I'll give it a go. Like I said, this is the department's most advanced gadget. They're absolutely the best, pal. It's so sensitive you can make it cry, it's so I attack you could skydive off it. Oh, bother. So, I'm gonna tell you how to use it. Dick, I'm pretty sure you're the boy who told me how to use it the first time around. Well, it's possible the real murder weapon's around here somewhere, right? Yeah, that's what we're trying to find out. Right. So first, why don't we turn the detector on? Oh, that's the sound of the metal detector signal bouncing off the walls. Next, move the detector around. Don't worry, baby, I'll let you know when you've hit something metallic. And when you- oh, sorry, I did not mean to skip that. This thing picks up metallic objects that are hidden. Take a good look at everything and anything that seems suspicious, okay, pal? Alright, I can do that. 
Um, here. It's a ladder. Look, a ladder. It's a step ladder, Dick. Yes, I've been waiting for this the entire time. What's the difference, pal? Looks like a normal ladder to me. Uh, surely everyone knows the difference. I mean, they're pretty ordinary objects. Look, I've met plenty of guys like you. Always picking on the smallest details. The vegetable store guy near me, my place, does it all the time. He even corrects me when I ask for a head of lettuce. That's a cabbage, he says. I'm telling you, they're the exact same thing, pal. Sweetie, no, they're not. <laughs> they're entirely different. You gotta plant both of them firmly in the ground before they can grow, don't you? Listen, you gotta take a step back and look at the bigger picture sometimes. Otherwise, you can miss a really important clue. That's advice from a pro, pal. <laughs> well, I had to wait a while for this ladder dialogue, but listen, it paid off. Delicious. Très bien. <laughs> The last person I need advice from is this guy in front of me. Alright, cool, glad we did it. How about the skis? Doesn't look like there's anything here. Hey, pal! All you gotta do is watch the detector and let it tell you where- Okay, sorry, Jesus. Okay, what about here? That's odd. This sled is made of plastic. Oh, it says bikini number one on the side. Oh, jeez. Maybe there's something under it. Hey, what's this? A badge? Ah, oh, I've been on it at high and low for that! Oh, it's yours. <laughs> that thing's priceless to a guy like me, pal. A cop can't be a cop without his badge. I'm sure glad I put that dime in there now. How did you manage to drop your badge here of all places? I know, I bet it happened this morning. I was playing around with the sled and, uh... Oh, oh, dick. I don't need to hear anymore. Hmm. Oh my god. Gumshoe is not the type of man who judges things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions. <laughs> uh, oh my god, sorry, Dick. Oh, that Shichi Shito next to the golden statue wasn't the real murder weapon, pal. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just thought I'd look at it. Uh, it's supposed to represent the multiple branches that life can take, all ending as one. Yeah, I heard something about that, too. You know what? I like You know what I think about sometimes, Phoenix? What kind of life I'd be leading had I not joined the Homicide Division? Oh, you think about that kind of stuff, do you, Dick? Of course I do! I think about it a lot, actually. Me as a traffic cop. Me as a detention officer. Me as the Blue Badger! Yeah, there's something to be said about the humor value of his gumshoe it's the Blue Badger. Oh, uh, Dick, you should do it. Become a social media influencer. <laughs> Run the official Blue Badger Instagram account. Um... How about this? This is Miss Donum's staff, isn't it? Well, scientifically speaking, they're usually made of wood, pal. Yeah, but the detector's reacting to it. Yeah, but however you look at it, the thing's made of wood, alright? I don't bother investigating anything unless it looks like it might be metallic. Isn't the entire point of a metal detector to find metal where you can't see it? <laughs> well, it is weird that this thing's causing a racket. Alright, here, fine, let me take a look at it. I'll do all the work here. <laughs> oh, hey, hands off! Examining evidence is a job for the- Oh, jeez, crack! Oh, you broke it! Oh, the top is coming off! Oh, jeez, you damaged a really important piece of evidence! I'm gonna get a salary cut for this! Ah! Oh, wow, well, look at that! Oh, that's a- It's a sword! Inside the staff! Is this? Could it be? A murder weapon! Alright, good. We had a real successful time out here. I'd never have guessed there'd be a sword concealed in the victim's staff. Yeah, they call this kind of thing a sword cane, pal. Oh, 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 oh! Look who's suddenly become the expert on this weaponry! Yeah, this one's a real gem. Workmanship's really something else, pal. Thank goodness it wasn't a cane sword, or else the victim would have been stabbed with their own foot! I-I had to process for a minute. I-I see what he did there. I officially give up on trying to figure out how Gumshoe's mind works. If the real reason- if the real scene of the crime was the inner temple garden, then why was the sword used to kill the victim found in the main hall courtyard? It's a very good question, Phoenix. I'm sick of questions, though. I want answers. <laughs> Hey, Gumshoe. 
Who knows about the hidden sword? Oh, well, geez, no one, buddy. We just found out about it right now. Even the police didn't know about this until I discovered it just now. Well, as they say, there's no team in Gumshoe. <laughs> that nice, subtle, since I discovered it right now. Right. Well, anyways, it doesn't look like there's any traces of blood on it. Well, I guess this isn't the murder weapon, huh? Or it's been wiped clean. No, no, no. I'm sure someone just wiped it off after the murder. Oh, yeah, of course. This thing's definitely the murder weapon. Great job, pal. Wow, if only the judge was this easy to convince. <laughs> it's about the same length as the Shichishito. Two. This must be the murder weapon. Okay, I'm gonna run it over to forensics. There's gotta be some traces of blood left, even if most of it's been wiped off. I'll see you later, pal. Every case is gonna be airtight. Every case is gonna be airtight. Oh, jeez. Wait up, detective. Huh? Oh, what is it, pal? Look, I'm pretty busy right now, you know? You're gonna get that staff analyzed, right? Would you mind holding off for just a while? What are you talking about, pal? Please. Just until we find Maya. Maya? What's this got to do with her? I don't know, but I'm starting to get a really bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. Oh, how so? Look, Maya's trapped inside the sacred cavern right now, and... Well, we don't even know if she's okay or not. The more evidence and testimony I hear, the more uneasy I feel. Oh, you don't think? Maya's been mur Please, detective! Let's just wait until we can get inside the sacred cavern. Oh, you're looking kind of Viridian there. Oh, Phoenix is so worried. Okay. Stop it with the face, pal. One thing, though. Oh, the staff's secret trick. Trick. What do you say we keep it between you and me, all right? If it gets out that we knew about it and didn't say anything, oh, we're finished. I understand. So, this is just a regular, run-of-the-mill staff. You got it, pal? Okay. Now you take good care of it, pal. Thank you, detective. All right. So someone else is going to know about the secret of the staff, and then we're going to get them. We're going to get them. We're going to be like, ladies and gentlemen, we got them. This is the moment that, this is the foreshadowing. Somewhere when we're back in trial again, it's going to come up, and I'm going to be like, this moment, that moment. They're going to connect. Yeah, don't worry about it, pal. She'll be fine. Gumshoe? You know, there's a place at the base of this mountain that has some really good pasta. How would I take you there when you find Maya, huh, pal? Oh, Good guy, Dick! He's actually the best. <laughs> the staff is a shower. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good, Dick. Thank you. Alright, has a sword hidden inside? No one knows this except me and Detective Gumshoe. Can't help but wonder, though. What was Elise Donum doing with the staff like this in the first place? It's a good question. A very good question. Um... I think we want to find Edgeworth at this point. We might have to come back to Dick, but I, I think we're pretty good there. Um, let's go back to the main gate. Suspension bridge? No. Nope. Heavenly Hall? Oh, someone's here. Hmm. I was expecting Larry and Pearls to be here. I guess they must have gone to collect firewood. Oh well, I suppose we'll have to check back later. Oh, just kidding. Nobody's here. Alright, that's fine. Let's go... Inner Temple Gate. Let's go... Garden. Yeah, here is a place we haven't been yet. February 9th, Inner Temple. This is where Edgeworth said he would be. And we need to catch up with Edgeworth. The cops are still combing the place. Uh, they look pretty nervous. To be fair, I'd be nervous too. It's gotta be a tough job. Especially with someone giving you the evil eye the whole time. <laughs> hmm. How could I have done that? Wow. Can't believe it's still bothering him. Yeah, you know what? Once an event happens and it's no longer in your control, you gotta move on. Oh god, I'm getting the sniffles. Oh, it's from this damn winter. <laughs> We're getting hit by another snowstorm this weekend. <laughs> Can't wait! 
Edgeworth. Oh. Hey, don't run away. What are you doing, Edgy? What do you want, right? What do I want? If you came here to laugh at me, then get on with it. Go on, laugh away. He's ready to hug it out with him. He's just the same prideful Edgeworth. Oh, we were gonna hug bros just being bros, you know, five feet together because we are gay. You went back to the criminal affairs department, right? You said you wanted to look into something concerning Iris. Yes. And thanks to what I found, I was reminded of something terrible. Were you? Was it about Dahlia? You guys are putting a lot of effort into the investigation of the garden here, huh? There's a high chance this is the actual scene of the crime, that's why. You mean because of the writing in blood, and the talisman in the snow? Exactly. As you know, those things couldn't have been planted here after the murder. Right, but surely you don't suspect... Maya, do you? We have to treat everyone as a suspect. Maya as well as Iris. It's our job, right? Uh, I was worried about that. So, I guess you still haven't gotten over your fear of earthquakes. If we can just talk about that for a minute. No, though thankfully my nightmares have stopped. But still, if the ground gives even the slightest tremor, I find myself short of breath. Hmm. Seventeen years ago, when we were little school kids at the same elementary school, Edgeworth found himself in the middle of a murder. In the elevator, in the courthouse. It all started with that big quake that hit the, the courthouse. Been a minute since we've heard this. Ah. Yes, I was stuck in the elevator with my father, who was a defense attorney. We were deprived of oxygen and we passed out, that's when it happened. That single gunshot shattered my whole life. I lost everything that day, all because of that earthquake. My dreams, my family, and myself. It's been more than 17 years now, and that case was finally resolved two years ago, right? You think I don't know that? I was there, right? So were you, asshole. But it was such a shock, I never imagined it could be so wrong. I could be so wrong about myself and my life. I'm sorry, right? There's nothing else I can say. Not after you chose to become a lawyer for my sake. And not after you saved me. Edgeworth, you're stronger than you think. Alright, so no more of the self-pity, okay? You're a stud. Pick yourself up and start acting like one. Anyways, right, there was something that bothered me about her from the moment we met. I felt like I'd seen her somewhere before. No, wait. Not somewhere. I felt like I'd seen her in court before. Ah. So you went back to the criminal affairs department to look for her file. Yes, I checked over every case file I've ever worked on. And I was right. I had seen her face before. Six years ago. Six years ago, eh? Why don't you talk to me about that? It was my first appearance in court. And as cases go, it was my worst nightmare. So, who is she? I'm sorry, right? I can't give that information away to a member of the general public. What? Why not? It might be a crucial piece of pu uh, puzzle to solve this case because it's not his secret to tell. He had this whole deal with Iris where he's like, Iris, you have to tell Phoenix. And Iris was like, okay, I'll tell Phoenix. So she, and she has the Cyclops. So we've got to go talk to her. The woman I knew was the daughter of a jewelry store owner. She had nothing to do with Iris and Hazakura Temple. And neither did the case. No, that woman is completely unrelated to this murder. Unrelated? Yes, I can say that with complete confidence. You're wrong, Edgeworth. She's totally related to this case. She's the goddamn sister, for Christ's sake. I need to fill Edgeworth in. I need to explain the connection between Iris and the woman Edgeworth knew. How would he not see himself? Look, Edgeworth is a smart guy. Come on, buddy. They're, they literally have the same face. Uh, Morgan Faye's daughter and Iris' twin sister. Yeah, well, throw the profile at him, I guess. Hey, Edgeworth. Did you know that Iris had a twin sister? What? A twin? 
You can't be serious. Sister Bikini told me, but... The problem is, she didn't know the name of this twin. There was nothing about Iris having a sister in the files I checked. Well, Iris was taken in by the temple when she was really young. Apparently her sister was raised by her father. A jeweler. I think. A jeweler? Right, I... I just might know who this twin sister of hers is. Yeah, I had a feeling you might say that when you just talked about another girl who had Iris's face who was the daughter of a jeweler. Let me guess! Her name is Dahlia Hawthorne, right? Yes, exactly. Alright, tell me what you know about her, Edgeworth. Please. It was my first court case six years ago. I was a greenhorn, and due to my inexperience, the defendant died. <clears throat> You're talking about Terry Falls, right? You know about that case. Yeah, you see, you're not the only one who noticed something about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne. I checked one of Mia's old files from six years ago. Yes, Dahlia was a key witness in that case. Dahlia and Terry Falls conspired together to stage a fake kidnapping 11 years earlier. They stole a jewel worth two million dollars from Dahlia's father, a jeweler. And five years after that... <clears throat> she murdered her own sister, Valerie Hawthorne, to keep her from talking. Her sister? Well, her stepsister, actually. They weren't blood-related. Aha! God, there's so many family members, it's turning into a mess. What are you doing, stepsister? <clears throat> it's okay, you guys, they're not blood-related. Valerie was the only daughter of Dahlia's father's second wife. <laughs> Dahlia's father's second wife. That doesn't... Wait, what? Alright. Hold the phone. There's either... The game either made a, made an oopsie here with continuity and character ages, or, um... Or this man has had several wives. Because, uh... His... his Dahlia's father is the man who left Morgan Fay. If Valerie was the only daughter of Dahlia's... Oh, wait a second. Maybe this isn't an oopsie. Okay, so... Let, let me... Pa so, Valerie was the only daughter of Dahlia's father's second wife. No blood relation at all. So, she Valerie is not related to Dahlia's father. She was already an existing daughter of the mother. Sorry, false alarm. I'm getting distracted. I thought that Valerie was like a half-sister and that she came from the same dead, but that is not the case. No, no, no. Because that wouldn't have made sense, because Valerie is older than Dahlia. But the way the game has ordered it, that makes perfect sense. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm overthinking it, okay? <laughs> it's It all makes sense in my brain now, all right? Valerie has no blood relation to Dahlia or Dahlia's father. She was the daughter of the other woman. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Moving on! <laughs> let's, let's skate past it. Oh. And this is when she entered my life. The woman who tried to kill me. <laughs> Not the best relationship I've ever had. So after Terry Falls died, what happened to Dahlia? Did you check that out? Does it really matter? Like I said, Dahlia isn't connected with this case. Well, how can you be so sure about that? It's simple. Dahlia Hawthorne is dead? Are you sure? I, I, I don't mean, I, I, I don't mean to sound insensitive, but like, can, can I, can I see her dead corpse, her dead rotting corpse? Cause 
I don't know if I'd be convinced. My hypothesis is that she's running around on this mountain. So like, can I see a body? <laughs> what? Well, her metabolic processes are a matter of interest only into historians, so to speak. That's a, that's a really creative way to phrase death. You know what? I'd like to steal that. Her metabolic processes are a matter of interest only to historians at this point. <laughs> What do you mean she's dead? Edgeworth! Right, I must confess that in reading her file... I came to know of the murder case you were involved in during your college years. Oh, there goes my face. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> Frank- George! Are you trying to find plot holes and errors in this absolute perfect case? How dare you, sir! <laughs> Well, I fixed the plot hole. I, I learned that the case was perfect and I was mistaken. Dahlia Hawthorne was found guilty. Thanks to the persistence of Mia Fey. Right. And then she was put in jail. Mia Fey. Mia Fey! Ugh. At the time, Dahlia... It's like she was possessed by a demon or something. Also a hypothesis that I had at one point when I thought Iris was the demon cleansed Dahlia. <laughs> it's been almost five years since that guilty verdict was handed down. And her sentence was finally carried out. She was executed last month. Oh, shucks. Japanifornia's got the death penalty, folks. Executed? I'm sure that's a bit of a shock for you, right? And for more reasons than one. How would a Mr. Wright have not heard of- How would I have not heard about this? Like, as someone who was a, like, you know, a victim, so to speak, and directly involved in the trial. When someone gets sentenced to death, that's like a news story. What? But do you understand now? She can't possibly be connected with this case. She's dead, and when someone is dead, there is no way to revive them. Oh, funny you say it like that. God damn it. Funny- Why do you gotta say it like that? When someone's dead, there's no way to revive them. Edgeworth, have you not seen my friend Maya and, and Pearls in court and growing really big, voluptuous breasts? <sighs> Her name is... Dahlia Hawthorne. She is our... Almighty God. The whole package. <laughs> Use it when you channel her. Oh no. Oh no. Do you guys think Pearls channeled Dahlia that night? Th there, there has to be a mistake there because... Last game we had the whole theory about how like Maya might have channeled a murderer and killed somebody. But we were like, no, nah, Maya's a main character. That can't happen. And Pearls is also a main character. I don't think the game would let Pearls be a murderer even through... Possession by Dahlia. Ah, it begs the question, what in the world happened? There's no way to revive the dead, huh? Hmm. I wonder. Seems you're not aware of one other connection yet, Edgeworth. And what is that? It's about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne's mother. What's their mother got to do with any of this? She's Morgan Fay. A spirit medium from a branch family of the Korean channeling technique. Did you say Korean channeling technique? Do you know something about it? Oh yes. I know it's connected with that fraudulent spirit- Edgeworth, we've been over this before. Come on. Fraudulent? I was involved in another nightmare 17 years ago. God. I'm sorry. For anybody who hasn't played the first game, I guess this is pretty important, but like... They're really laying it on thick of like, all right, boys, let's remember all of the past events that have transpired. I remember. My memory's good. I'm a scientist. I was caught up in the middle of a murder investigation. The police didn't have any leads. They were stumped, and that's when they called her in. She was a very famous spirit medium and the master of her channeling school. But you know what happened? As a result of her efforts, an innocent man was accused of murder. She and her powers, they were all fraudulent. Edgeworth, come on, we, we, we hashed this out in court, remember? Go to the police records room, it's all in there. All you have to do is check the DL6 incident case file and you'll know. I already know! I don't want to do the work! 
Edgeworth was the victim in that case. Edgeworth. You'll understand someday. And then you'll see that the Korean channeling technique is real. Aw, look at all the faith Phoenix has. Alright, so we got a lot of information. Now, is it true that we can actually go to the uh, precinct and get the records? I wonder. Hmm. Do you think we have enough stuff to confront Iris with? We can try. I mean, we pretty much know her secret at this point, so let's see if we can get her to spill the beans. Hello, beautiful! The night of the crime. Let's talk, girl. I think it's time you told me the truth about what you were doing on that night. You said you were in your room at Hazakura Temple the entire time. Do you still claim that to be the truth? Yes, that's where I was. Iris, I believe you're innocent. That's why I want to believe what you're telling me too, but I can't. It does mean that since she is a twin, that her her sincere her niceness can actually be sincere and genuine, which is nice. Because this person saw you somewhere else on the night of the murder. Bikini did. I'm talking about Sister Bikini, of course. Sister Bikini? Her testimony in court today was very clear. That night, I was helping an acolyte with her training in the inner temple, but... Well, as you can see, my back legs act up violently. So I left Iris to help the acolyte and return to Hazakura Temple. Sister Bikini didn't just see you. She spoke with you. You two talked about Maya's training that night. So you see, Iris, you were there at the inner temple on the night of the murder. That's... very impressive, Mr. Wright. The Acolyte's actual training was due to start after 10 o'clock that night. I left the main hall early so I wouldn't be late. What time was that? Let me see. It takes about 20 minutes to walk between the main hall and the inner temple. So, I would have left at about 9.40, I think. I'm sorry, Iris. Lying doesn't suit you very well. Huh? Now, you say you left the main hall at 9.40, but what you say doesn't add up with this. Wait a second. <laughs> uh, weather data. <laughs> left at 9.40. She rang the lights out bell at 10, so I mean, that would be one problem. Maybe. Possibly. Also, the photo of the tracks... Well, being covered by snow, I guess that kind of makes sense. Uh, uh. Hmm... Do we think those are Iris's footprints? Of, like, when she left? Maybe. Because maybe one hypothesis is to say that the tracks ran over the footprints and there was no more snowfall, so she must have left pretty late. Also, she rang the lights out bell at 10, so how did she do that if she was gone? There's a couple of ideas I have that I don't know which one's correct. <laughs> Let's go with... Cause this is only her testimony. Maybe, but we know that the lights out bell did ring at 10. Let's try the tracks photo. Eh. Take that! Nope. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but mistakes just don't suit you. Wow, she still has a little bit of that dolly assassin in her though. I'll give you that much. I had hoped you would at least get this much correct. I hate seeing you mess up and get all disappointed. Alright, listen. You know what? You now seem a lot more suspicious to me. You say you left the main hall at 940, but what you say doesn't add up with this. Alright, let me let me try the, uh, ringing the lights out, though. There it is. See, I, I had it, but I second-guessed myself. It's literally what every teacher tells you not to do when you're taking a test. When you're taking a test and you pick one of the answers, you're not supposed to second-guess yourself and be like, Wait a second, maybe that's wrong. Let me switch my answer. You're most likely right your first time around. When you overthink, it's like shooting yourself in the foot. 
You yourself testified to the contrary, don't you remember? You said you rang the lights out bell at 10 o'clock that night. Ah! Plus, only moments before you rang that bell, you were seen at the main hall by the most reliable witness I have. Who's that? It was me, of course, girl. We chat- Oh my god, wow. We did. We literally chatted. <laughs> Mr. Wright. We even spoke a little that evening. That's when you gave me this. Your hood. Surely you haven't forgotten. Uh, no, that's right. I remember. She's acting real sus. And that brings us to another puzzling fact, Iris. At 10 o'clock, the night of the murder, you were seen in two different places at the same time. It's about time you told me exactly what's been going on, Iris. So far, I've managed to prove two things. First, on the night of the incident, you were at the Inner Temple. And second, at the exact time you were ringing the bell at Hazakura Temple. There's only one possible explanation for this apparent impossibility. There were two of you. On the night of the incident, you were seen in two places at the same time. Which means there must have been two of you. I can't think of any other explanation, Iris. But that's crazy. How could that be? There's only one of me. It's impossible. Oh. You know, this this face, this is such a Dahlia face. Look, I don't mean to tell the difference between twins and whatnot, but like, Iris and Dahlia, now that I do know that there's twins, Iris has had a lot of really unique sprites to her that, are, that were like different from Dahlia sprites. I gotta take a much closer look at their faces. Like this looks like a Dahlia being caught in her act moment and she's being sassy. Like Dahlia too, right? She had that little Dahlia sass. Who am I talking to? Do you think Dahlia dyed her hair? Is Dahlia still gonna have red hair? Dahlia's dead, actually. Wait a second. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. That that fun little fact that actually puts a really big wrench in my works. Um, well, Iris is a spirit medium. Did you channel Dahlia? <laughs> Are you possessed by Dahlia? Oh my god, my brain hurts thinking about it too much. All right, whatever. <laughs> I don't know, but you look mad sus to me. Impossible, I wonder. The way you're trembling certainly seems to suggest otherwise. <laughs> you're seriously trying to suggest there's more than one of me? Then show me the evidence. Show me something that proves there's more than one of me. Evidence, you say? Will a profile not suffice as evidence, or will it? I mean, we got her profile from... So, yeah, here we go. Dahlia Hawthorne. Take that! Throw it at her. <sighs> Sorry, Iris. I have a firm grasp on the situation now. You have a sister, don't you? A twin sister, perhaps. Mmm, <gasps> that face makes me uncomfortable. That's right. Dahlia Hawthorne. A woman I know only too well. I had no idea you knew of her. Very impressive, Mr. Wright. But she's no longer. Yeah, I unfortunately I learned that too. That that makes things a little more complicated for me. Uh Frank, but George, remember Iris said she cannot channel. Yeah, but who am I to believe that? Uh she she we didn't know who Iris was back then, and she probably didn't want us to know who she was, so she probably lied. If she's a daughter from the branch family of Corain, I think the possibility certainly exists that she could channel spirits. I don't know. <laughs> Am I supposed to just take her word at face value now? She's super suspicious. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. There's no need to explain now, is there, Iris? This second you who was here at the temple on the night of the murder. It was your twin sister, Dahlia Hawthorne! But you just said yourself a second ago. My sister's dead. Have you forgotten that? Have you forgotten this, Iris? This is a channeling dojo. A training ground of the crane channeling technique. That night, someone channeled Dahlia's spirit. And you knew about it. And that's the secret you've been trying to hide from me. Ooh, boys. 
Oh boys, oh boys, everyone's lying, everyone's lying. That was such a Dahlia animation too. I'm so scared, I'm so uncomfortable. I mean, I guess it's true that... For it, the night of the crime, it couldn't have been Iris who channeled Dahlia because... They were still in two separate places. So, when it comes to our spirit channelers... I suppose there's three of them. I, I don't know if Bikini can channel spirits, I'm guessing not. Or I'm guessing she's not our criminal that we're looking for. So Pearls can channel spirits, Maya can channel spirits, and uh... Mystic, Misty Faye can channel spirits, but since she's the one who died... I'm assuming that she's not our channeler. Uh, and Pearls still has Cyclops. Did Pearls really channel Dahlia? But she couldn't have carried out the murder! <laughs> Ugh, God, shit, fuck. <laughs> I was in my room, in the main hall that night. As soon as I heard that I'd been spotted at the inner temple, that's when I knew. I knew it was my sister, Dahlia, the other half of me who passed away last month. Just as I suspected, the iris that Sister Bikini saw at the inner temple on the night of the murder, it was Dahlia Hawthorne. God, and Sister Bikini was with Maya, and so Dahlia was there with, uh... So that must have been Pearls. Shit! Because that would explain why Pearls woke up on the other side. Oh, God, the evidence is looking real, real bad. But hang on, we, we still don't know exactly how Mystic Elise died. Mystic Misty. Oh, but it's not looking real good, is it? Hmm. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because my sister always does the right thing. Girl, have you met your sister? Phoenix, excuse me? And because I mustn't get in the way of what she's trying to do. I already betrayed her once before. I can't do it again. You betrayed her? What do you mean? That's why I have to accept that I may be found guilty. It's the only way. What is she talking about? Girl, you're acting real, real fucking sus. <laughs> you know about it, don't you, Mr. Wright? About the fake kidnapping that took place here on Eagle Mountain 11 years ago? Oh, that's what we're talking about. That was the start of it all. It's what started her down that twisted path. Yeah, fill me in, please. She started to commit crime after crime. And in the end, she lost her life. Okay, but where does your betrayal become? It's all because I betrayed her. Uh-oh, 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 oh, we're getting into some sad- We're getting into the feels, guys! How did you betray her, Iris? It was no coincidence that Eagle Mountain is where the exchange was to take place. After all, I... I helped plan the whole thing. What? But I got scared. So I ran away. What are you talking about? Why would you help her? Stealing two million dollars? From your own father? That's awful! Well, I mean, her father gave her away, so... <laughs> I could see why Iris might have some resentment. But I promised. I promised that I'd help. And... She didn't do it for the money. Huh? It was revenge on our father. Revenge? Yeah, th that's what I was thinking. What do you mean by revenge? Well, Phoenix, he gave me away. He literally abandoned me on a mountain to be raised by nuns. What the fuck do you mean, revenge? Okay, yeah, that explains your story, Iris, but what about Dahlia? Our father was a hideous man. He threw our mother away and then sent her to hell. Her mother? She's gotta be talking about Morgan Fay. Our mother was the eldest daughter in the main branch of the Fay family. The main family had a lot of influence in many businesses and political circles at the time. As the eldest daughter, our mother was set to inherit all of that as the next master. That's the reason our father married our mother in the first place. For the power. But his plan backfired. Because our mother's sister took it all from her. She took over as the master of Karain. And that would be Misty Fay, Maya's mom. But before long, the credibility of the Korean tradition hit rock bottom. 
The new master, Mystic Misty Fay, made a terrible mistake. It was during the investigation of the DL6 incident. After that happened, our father took me and my twin sister away, leaving our mother and our home behind. I hated the place. He said it was a hick dive and that he had no reason to stay there. So that's when you came here to Hazakura Temple? Yes. The woman my father took, it as next, uh, took as his next wife already had a daughter, Valerie. I had no place in his new family, you see. That's horrible! Oh my god! Oh. And I haven't seen my mother once since then. Having the master seat stolen from her and being rejected by her own family? I heard she's been very battered, spiritually and emotionally. I think I'm finally beginning to see how the pieces fit together. God. You know it's a complex situation when you're actually feeling a little bit bad for Morgan Fay. I have asked her everything I can in my capacity as a prosecutor. This incident, everything related to it goes back to the history of the Fay clan. That's certainly what it looks like. <clears throat> Iris, there's one more thing I want you to tell me. Yeah, what is it? During the incident in which your sister, Dahlia Hawthorne, poisoned a lawyer, she began a relationship with a certain college student in order to hide the evidence. That college student. Have you heard anything about him? Well, I did hear one thing. She said she hated his guts. <laughs> Alright, thanks girl. Thanks for that. I see. Okay, well... Thank you for your help. It's been a great, great, great conversation. You're welcome. That smirk, smug little smile while she says that. Ugh. See, there's there's too much of that Dolly assassiner right now. Am I crazy? Or is she channeling Dolly? Oh my god! Hurry up, Phoenix! Alright, fine, alright, I'll put a pin in it. <laughs> there's still much to investigate. Leave these locks to me. I'll open them for you, I promise. Okay. Franny, keep a close eye on her for me, okay? Please, don't let her out of your sight. Anyways, there's still one secret left to unlock. It's Pearls's. Pearl's Psych Lock. Alright, let's see if we can find her. Back to the Heavenly Hall. Are you down here, girl? We gotta wrap this up for the night. Uh, and that is why Iris gave her Phoenix her hood, so that Dahlia couldn't attack Phoenix. It's all coming full circle now, isn't it? Look at that! They really did make a fire! Right in front of the shack! That almost seems like a stupid idea. Oh! Mr. Nick! <laughs> You're too late, Nick! If you came here for one of our potatoes, oh, we've already polished them off! I think I've pretty much got all the evidence I need. I just need to find out what Pearls is hiding. I'm not psyched about doing this, I'm very nervous, but it's time. It's time for you to come clean, Pearls. Uh, Maxwell Fong, there's a child here, so this is no longer a cruising spot. Wow, there's so many. The night of the crime. Alright. <clears throat> Focus. Alright, Pearls. After dinner on the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Elise Donham's room, reading a book together, correct? Uh-huh! I was so happy when she invited me, but I didn't go in the end. You didn't go? Well, there was somewhere else I had to go instead. I was so worried I, I had to go. I didn't know what to do with myself. I was nervous. So Pearls never went to Miss Donham's room because she was too worried about something or someone else. Pearls! On the night of the murder, you went to this place, didn't you? Uh Oh, I can't check my evidence! Well, she went to the Inner Temple. I was gonna check the note just to confirm, double check that the note said meet at the Inner Temple or come to the Inner Temple. But that's where she was. Because she was on the other side of the bridge. You went here, didn't you, Pearls? Looks like she's still not gonna open up to me. This is where you went because you were so worried, right? 
So the next question is, who or what were you worried about? Now I'm gonna take a guess, and you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, okay? You mean you know? If I'm right, will you tell me the whole truth? Okay. You went to this place for one very simple reason, and that is this. I think it's our mystery notes. I'll leave everything up to her. Here's a picture of her. Burn this note. I think it was this. Well, Pearls, this is what you were worrying about, right? Wait, what? Uh, Mr. Nick, you're really stupid, and your face is an ugly color, and you really should be a better lawyer, okay? Oh, no! <laughs> Alright, I misread that signal. Shoot! She must have been worried. Oh, my dumbass. The answer's Maya. Fucking Christ. <laughs> All right. On the night you went to this. Oh my God. Oh man, we've been reset to the beginning. The Inner Temple. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got yep 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 yep. You were worried about Maya. <clears throat> it's obvious what you were so worried about, Pearls. It was Maya, wasn't it? You knew the training Maya was undertaking was dangerous. After all, it was the special course. I signed up for your special course! Well, my my, quite brave of you considering how cold it is. Young people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one of those you channel. Ha ha ho ho! Sister Bikini scared you with what she said, didn't she? And because it was you who introduced Hazakira Temple to Maya in the first place, you felt responsible, didn't you? Thinking about what could happen to Mystic Maya, it made me more worried. I couldn't sit still at all. So that's why I decided to go and find out how she was doing at the end of Temple. Okay, so we're clear now. You went to the Inner Temple that night, Pearls. What's not clear, though, is what happened after that. Huh? About what time was it when you headed over to the Inner Temple? Uh, probably around 9.30? That's when I left the main hall. I heard the real training was supposed to start at 10. I wanted to get there before it started. But there was so much snow I didn't get there until after 10. Until after 10? How do you know? Well, because I heard the bell ring for Lights Out. Huh, she heard the Lights Out bell. The Hazakira Temple's bell is pretty small though, isn't it? You must have really good hearing. Well, I was really trying to pick up the sound of that bell, that's all. I didn't want to miss it. That would be terrible. She was trying to hear the bell. Tell me, Pearls, why were you so worried about hearing that bell? This is where the note comes in. I think I know why you were so worried about hearing the bell. Because this says, as soon as you hear the lights out bell, there it is. Now we got it. I think you were given some instructions to follow that night, weren't you? I presume you recognize these pieces of paper? Ah! Where did you- In the incinerator at the inner temple. So the million dollar question is who wrote these instructions? Pearls, you were following the instructions in this letter that night, weren't you? That's why you couldn't afford to miss the sound of the lights out bell. I'm speechless, Mr. Nick. You're amazing. These instructions that were found in the incinerator. I believe they were written for you, Pearls. For me? Uh, no. As you can see, a large portion has been burnt. But the last section is still fairly legible. As soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit. Who was it, Pearls? Whose spirit were you supposed to be channeling? Taking into account the author of the notes and the purpose for writing it, whose spirit would Pearls have been trying to channel? Don't overthink it, Phoenix. It's pretty obvious who Pe Pearls was supposed to channel. Alright, well, she was supposed to channel Dahlia, I think. That makes sense. Whoa! Also, Morgan Fay is a profile. That's weird. Is she. 
Let me, let me, I'll circle back to it. It was Dahlia Hawthorne, wasn't it? That was the name that was in the letter. It's just, that's, yeah, all this I know. But where did the letter originate from? It wasn't Iris who Sister Bikini met at the Inner Temple that night. It was Dahlia Hawthorne. Do you know anything about her pearls? Do you know what kind of a woman Dahlia Hawthorne was? Um, no, not really. I hadn't heard of anyone by that name before reading the instructions. I thought so. Pearls doesn't have a clue. She doesn't know that Dahlia is her sister. Um... About the instructions in the letter I found, Pearls. Who wrote them? Um... Whoever it was asked you to channel the spirit of someone you'd never heard of. You must have had quite a lot of respect for them. After all, you followed their instructions without question. So here's my next question. Who wrote this set of instructions for you to follow? Oh my god, this is why we have her profile. Morgan Fay is the mother of pearls! Currently being held in solitary confinement though, so that... That's what's really confusing to me. Logic would reason to us that this woman is involved in this case now. And she might have written this letter, have had written this letter. But how did she get a letter to Pearls when she isn't held in solitary confinement? And how when we were up in the mountains? And there's so much that doesn't make sense. I need details. Pearls, I have to wonder about something. You didn't have any idea what these instructions meant, did you? Um... But you followed them to the letter regardless. Why? Because it was your own mother who asked you. That's why. How did you... I figured it out. The person who wrote you this letter was your own mother, Morgan Fay. Ah, uh, Mr. Nick, leave me alone! <laughs> Alright, Pearls, it's time you started telling me the truth. But Mr. Nick, I... Why is she holding back from me? I don't really like this. Girl, I'm basically your father now. <laughs> don't underestimate me! Just because I'm a, a child? Huh? If you're trying to say I followed these instructions, I want to see some proof. What? Pearls? Are, are you turning into a teenager on me? I don't think you have any. Oh, I should say anything rather than admit to carrying out those instructions. I guess I'll have to produce some more evidence then. One more thing should do it. Alright, Pearls. We both know someone carried out these instructions on the night of the murder. But you're right. There's no evidence that proves it was you. Aha! I knew it! However, I do know that whoever did it was a child. What? How do you know that? Oh, it couldn't have been an adult. No adult would have made a simple mistake like that. A simple mistake? What do you mean? I'm sure you thought you were carefully following the instruction you'd been given. But you misunderstood one of the words. And this is the evidence that proves it. Oh my god. Oh my god, she misunderstood. She misunderstood the word gravely roast. <laughs> because if you miss if you're a child and you don't know your words like Pearls didn't and she even asked about these words with uh Mystic Elise or Misty Faith. If you were to gravy roast the master <laughs> in the fires of 80s, what might you do? You might throw a slop of gravy on her face. <laughs> it was you who splattered gravy on this hanging scroll, wasn't it? <gasps> uh, what? Why would I do something like that? Do you remember what was written in the letter? Gravely roast the master in the fires of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition? But you probably didn't know all those complicated words, and your mom probably should have known that. I don't know what she was thinking when she wrote such a complicated sentence for a nine-year-old. Anyways, the words gravely and roast, among others. How do you know? Remember the conversation you had with, with Miss Donum the night of the murder? Perhaps we can read some books together. Really? I'd love to. I, uh, I'm not very good at reading, though. <laughs> well then, would you like to practice reading with me? Uh, Miss Elise, so for example, uh, how do you read this? 
It says, gravely. That's kind of a tough word. Oh god, oh god. Sure, Miss Donum taught you how to read gravely and roast, but what she didn't teach you is what they meant. Oh no, Pearls is the murderer! For reals! Gravely sounded like gravy to me, and the only roast I could think of was the food. And that's why you did it. That's why you covered the picture of the master in gravy from that night's pot roast. Well, to be honest, I did think it was a bit strange. I guess I really did get the wrong idea. Yeah, just a tiny bit, Pearls. It's adorable, though. I am useless. I couldn't even burn the letter properly as my mother had asked me. It's just a simple thing and I couldn't even do it right! Yeah, well thank god for all of us that you couldn't. God, Pearls, you really made a mess of things here. I mean, it's okay, you're just a child. I'm gonna have to fix it, but... Ah, oh, jeez. I... After dinner that night, I did go to the inner temple. With a pot full of the leftover gravy. The gravy? I saw the picture on the hanging scroll near the sacred cavern. It was a picture... I was sure that it was the Master of Kareem, like it said in the letter. I see, and then? Well, it was already way past ten when I got there because of all the snow. So, I went to the inner temple area, I guess. The guest area? Ah! I thought I could wait there until the training was over. Why didn't you just go to the training hall? Well, because Mystic Maya's main training had already started. I couldn't interrupt that. So I just stayed where I was and I prayed for her to get through it. But then, I... Pearls, did you fall asleep? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, I just got out of it. Hey, don't worry about it, Pearl. Who cares if you fell asleep? I fell asleep waiting for Iris, too. It happens. Right, Larry. Thanks for the help. Anyway, then you found yourself trapped at the inner temple. Uh-huh, and I woke up in this morning and tried not to cry, but Dusky Bridge wasn't there anymore, and uh, there was no one in the training hall. I thought everyone had left me because I overslept. I threw the letter into the incinerator, and then I heated up the leftover gravy and... and... Let off some steam by chucking the gravy onto the scroll while you cried. A delightful story. So when exactly did you channel Dahlia Hawthorne and commit murder, Pearls? <laughs> Dude, it must have been pretty scary for you, Pearl. I know what it's like, Nick. Uh, Nick used to leave me behind, too, when I fell asleep at school. Alright, let's not equate something so trivial with her experience, Larry. Please. Alright, yeah, uh, uh, what's this about lost powers again? It was written right in my mother's letter. It said, as soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit. I was on my way over to the inner temple when I heard the bell ring. And so then you channeled Dahlia Hawthorne's spirit. Well, no. I tried, but I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it? I've never failed at channeling someone. That's the first time it's happened. I mean, I tried and I tried. I'm much better than Maya at this kind of thing. I should have been able to do it. Yesterday, this morning, the entire time. I just couldn't do it. All right, let's backtrack for a second. This would clear Pearls' name. We're being led to believe that Dahlia's dead and Pearls challenged her and committed the murder and, and this is gonna make Pearls look real guilty. What if Dahlia... Once again, I want to go back to Edgeworth. Edgeworth, can I see her dead body? Because one thing that would cause a spirit medium to not be able to channel a spirit is if the spirit doesn't exist because the person is still actually very much alive and they're not actually dead. So perhaps Dahlia survived or weaseled her way out of her execution somehow? I don't know. It's a hypothesis I like a little bit better than Pearl's channeling Dahlia and committing murder. Hey, don't let it get you down, Pearl! It'll all work out! If you want, I'll come flying through the sky for you! Whoosh! <laughs> like that! So, she never managed to channel the spirit. Is that why you think your spiritual powers are gone? Yeah, I don't know what to do. Isn't there any other explanation for why you couldn't channel a spirit? Also, have you tried channeling any other spirits? Could you try, like, calling Mia? Does that work? 
I mean, I suppose there's one other possibility. It's not very likely, though. Uh, okay, can you talk to me about it? I mean, it could happen if someone else was already channeling the same spirit. Oh, right. That, that's another possibility. So being alive and if somebody else is also channeling it. So was someone else already channeling her? Someone else? What do you mean? Well, there's only one of each spirit, right? Yeah, it's like dating a girl, Nick. You can't see a hot chick if she's already taken. So that would mean on the night of the murder, someone else channeled her spirit before Pearls could. Oh my god, do you think it was Maya? <laughs> this isn't gonna look good for Maya then, because then we gotta get her declared innocent. Alright, listen, neither of my women can have channeled Dahlia Hawthorne. It can't be Pearls, it can't be Maya, it's not allowed, alright? They're not murderers. Someone else channeled the spirit of Dahlia Hawthorne. I'm a failure. I couldn't even grant my mother's final wish. Her final wish? Uh-huh, this letter. It was my last wish, she said. So make sure you follow the instructions carefully. Last wish? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Do you think she was about to commit suicide or something? I need to find out more about this letter. Yeah, where did it come from? My mother's gone to a place called a penitentiary. Yeah, I know. Good job, Pearls. That was a big word. I visit her every month. And last month, she told me... Oh, this was a month ago. The time we've been waiting for has come, Pearl. There's something I need you to do for me. I hid a letter for you at our home before they brought me here. Whoa, this was premeditated way in advance. Oh my god. And Pearls, is she's the one who actually concocted this entire thing. She presented the magazine to me and Maya about going to this thing. She set up the reservations to go to the mountain. This whole plan was set so far in advance. Oh, no. I want you to read it and do exactly what it says. It's for the good of the fake clan, my angel. You'll be doing a great thing. Now listen carefully, and I'll tell you where the letter's hidden. Oh my god, she's so happy too. This poor girl being manipulated. My mother's always nice to me. I love her very much. Yeah, moms will do anything for their kids, right? She said it was for the good of the fake clan, so I knew I had to help her. Oh, this is... this is so sad. She murdered her sister. Um... Morgan Fay. She was able to kill Misty Fay through this convoluted plan. But what spirit medium did it? I don't know if Sister Bikini can channel spirits. And I don't think... Misty Fay could have channeled the spirits and she's the one who died. <laughs> I mean, Mystic Maya's part of the Fae clan, so it had to be good for her too. It's right, isn't it, Nick? Oh, God. You sweet, adorable, dumb little idiot. This is the problem with children. <laughs> yeah, Pearls. I guess so. I guess so. There's a picture with her letter too. A picture? Of Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Usually a picture is enough to channel someone's spirit, but this time... Uh, pretty weird, huh? Like Larry knows anything about this stuff. Um, there's something else that was strange about my mother's letter. The seal on it was broken, as if someone had already opened it once before. <laughs> this game has no shortage of plot twists. Someone else has seen this letter, huh? That's actually helpful for us. That might help you me clear your name, Pearls. <laughs> that sure is pretty strange, dude. Someone had already opened it. Orders from Morgan Fay opened once before Pearls got to it. Okay, Jesus. Thanks, Pearls. You really helped me out. You're very welcome. My mother's watching over us. Oy. So I'm sure Mystic Maya will be all right. Look at that innocent smile on her face. What am I supposed to say to her? Ha. Huh. Godot, there he is, of course. Finally figured it out, have you, Trite? You finally realized how terrible of a crime being painfully oblivious is. Godot. 
The entrance to the sacred cavern looks like a freaking puzzle workshop. I guess he's talking about Iris and the lock-breaking effort. But it's all a waste of time. Why do you say that? Because Maya Faye isn't coming back. What? Listen, you know what? Just shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. How can you even say something like that? It was your job to protect her, Trite. Just like it was your job to protect Mia. Two sisters caught up in the worst circumstances. I realized that. However, and you were the only one who was by their sides. You were the only one who could have saved them. I, I, I didn't know anything about what was going on. Huh. <laughs> what I just say, Trite? Being oblivious is a heinous crime in itself. No, it's not. You're a psychopath. Tomorrow. We'll settle everything in court tomorrow. Once and for all. Alright, listen. Y you, I guess, were Mia's boyfriend, so I get it. You're sad, you're hurt, you're looking for someone to blame. But you're also a little bit of a chauvinist pig. You're extremely disrespectful towards women. You talk about, like, you know everything from your perspective. And you know what? It's just, it's a real toxic look. We've canceled this shit in 2022, people like you. Alright, get the fuck over yourself. Honest to Christ, people like this piss me off. I'm sorry to anybody that's a big Godot fan. I think he's kind of a shitty character. Mr. Nick! And I get that some people just, like, they'll be like, George, he's mourning, he's sad, he's heartbroken. I'm like, no! When he was with Mia, he was disrespectful, he talks shitty towards women, he thinks he, his ego is so complex and he's got his head so far up his ass, I don't give a fuck. He's gross. Is what that man said true? Even though he might have been the most handsome character in the game, an ugly personality will ruin that immediately. <laughs> It'll be alright, Pearls. I'm sure Maya's alive. You'll see for yourself, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, that's right. I know I can trust you, Mr. Nick. My dear Pearl. You've done so well, my child. My Pearl. <laughs> it's better that you don't know what you've done. Oh my god. H how are you gonna trick your daughter into committing a murder? Whether or not it worked, that's what your plan was. Oh, you evil bitch. <laughs> You're a real see you next Tuesday. <laughs> I knew this day would come for you. The blood of the main family is no more. Now, finally, after all this time, the master's seat. It is yours. All right, well, listen, slow your roll there, Granny. We haven't confirmed that Maya's actually dead yet. All right, until I see dead bodies, I don't believe anything. My last great wish. It seems I was just in time. To be continued. Oh, what a place to end. Jeepers. All right, well, I think that went about as well as we could have expected. The thing is, as, I mean, as far as an investigation goes, it was successful in the fact that we learned a lot of information today in these last two hours. But god damn. Man, this is, this might be a little bit more cutthroat than Dance Mom's, actually. I, I could see a Dance Mom doing this to get her daughter to win, but whoo. All right. Well, part 4-1 trial is up next, so I guess we're going back to court for this final case. We might have enough pieces that th this might be the final trial. I mean, it's 4-1, so I'm assuming there's going to be a, a two-part trial finale. That's fine. Um, so we'll start it tomorrow, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, if you want to hang out with me. I hope to see you guys there. As always, if you've been here the whole time, please do leave a like on the stream. The engagement is super helpful. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of me. And if you want to finish this game through to the end and see what in the world is going to happen, trials are dramatic, so I can only anticipate with glee of what kind of drama is going to unfold tomorrow. And a little bit of anxiety, because a couple of things really worry me. That's all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your night, and um, I'm going to go probably take a nap. Toodles!